Now to the latest on Hurricane Milton recovery efforts. Rescue crews were still out looking for people today in Hillsborough County, which is where Tampa is located. First responders are using boats, rafts, and what you see right here, some heavy vehicles to get to people. The Hillsborough County Sheriff says that he expects the water to continue to rise into the weekend. We also got an update from Tampa's mayor this afternoon about the challenges the community is facing in these recovery efforts. But my understanding is that the city of St. Petersburg received more rain from Milton than they have in their highest month of October, all from one storm in one 24 hour period. Because the energy is out, power is out, 65% of our traffic lights are down. So we have officers out there at the vast majority of those intersections. The mayor also says enough rainwater has been pumped out around a few gas storage tanks to be able to get some of that gas and supply it to stations in the area. Some of those areas impacted by Milton say these powerful storms are becoming more common. One woman says things have changed in Port Orange ever since Hurricane Ian in 2022. Ian came, we didn't sandbag for Ian, so that was probably our bad, but historically in this neighborhood it had never flooded. And we ended up with over a foot of water in Ian. And now with this one, we did mitigate more. So we only had about five inches, but it looked like we were in the middle of a lake. Like there was water in every direction, as far as you could see. She also says many of her neighbors have had difficulty getting insurance coverage for their high-risk homes.